In our previous guide, we broke down all the secret level locations in Minecraft Dungeons. But there was one bonus endgame stage from our list that we didn't fully cover that hardcore Diablo fans will really get a kick out of. This is Miles with Windows Central, and today we'll be showing you how to unlock the secret cow level by collecting all nine hidden runes in Minecraft Dungeons. Before you begin gathering the game's hidden collectible runes, you must have completed story mode. Once you've unlocked Adventure Difficulty, you'll have the opportunity to access the Rune Chapel from your camp. In the back corner behind the garden, you'll notice some newly added springboards. These will launch you behind the building with the drawbridge in your camp. Take a slightly covered path around the building to lower the drawbridge and enter the Rune Chapel. In the Rune Chapel, you'll find the Rune Shrine located at the back of the building. This device will track your Rune progress as you collect them. The rune location for Creeper Woods can be found towards the end of the stage. In the area where you're tasked with rescuing all the villagers, you'll want to take a hard left and look for a large stone structure on the ground. Activating this device and pressing a nearby switch creates an opening which will lead you to the rune location. For each of these runes, you'll want to press the switch on the rune altar to trigger the spawning sequence. The rune location for Soggy Swamp can be found at the very end of the stage, right before the exit. Off to the right of the main path, you'll notice a stone pillar, and hidden behind some mushrooms is a switch that reveals a hidden doorway. Enter this room to collect the next rune. To find the rune location for Pumpkin Pastures, you'll need to keep your eyes peeled for a massive stone wall as you enter the more developed area of the village. Make your way to the top of this wall and follow the path until you find a stack of crates. Behind these crates is a switch that will open the entrance to the rune altar for this stage. Grab this rune and move on to the next location. The rune location for redstone mines can be pretty easy to miss if you're not sure where to look. During the second rescue the villager sequence, you'll want to take an optional path to the left. Hug the wall until you find a switch that reveals a pretty inconspicuous doorway. Enter this room and grab the fourth rune. The rune for Fiery Forge can be obtained very close to the start of the stage. Look for a fallen redstone giant covered in rays of light. Head down the steps from this corpse to find a hidden switch on the wall. Activating this switch will open the entrance to the rune altar. Make your way inside and collect the fifth rune! The rune location for Cacti Canyon can be found next to the room with the first key golem. Just outside of the key golem room, is a very well hidden switch behind a tree. After pressing the switch, make your way to the back of the key golem room to find the entrance. Another rune down and only three more to go. To find the rune location for Desert Temple, you'll also need to focus on a section with the key golem in the southeast. Once you've exited the key room, head north and look for a large bush next to a tree. The switch for this rune location is hidden here. Flip the switch and enter the shrine to collect your 7th rune. The rune location for High Block Halls is another one that's easy to miss because of the chaos in this area. In the massive open courtyard where the entrance to the well is, hug the right side of the castle walls and look for an unlit torch. Activating the torch will reveal the entrance to this rune altar. Just one more rune to go! The rune location for Obsidian Pinnacle is located towards the end of the stage in the large library room. After defeating a horde of enemies, make your way to the massive bookshelf against the northernmost wall. Find the hidden switch among the books to reveal the final rune location. Collect this relic and give yourself a firm pat on the back. Once you've collected all nine runes, head back to camp and make your way to Rune Chapel. Placing all the runes on the shrine reveals a hidden room with two obsidian chests and a scroll for a new location. This secret level will now appear on the world map as three question marks above the camp. This is the game's homage to Diablo 2's infamous cow level. This stage is the ultimate endgame experience. With loads of tough mushroom enemies and a gigantic new boss mob, this is a great bonus for players who've mastered the core content of Minecraft Dungeons and want something to tide them over until the first round of DLC drops. What are your thoughts on the secret cow level? Have you managed to track down all the rune locations? Let us know in the comment section below. For more Xbox and PC focused content, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.